people will say, oh, you're a billionaire. I'm like, I'm not a billionaire, but sometimes I do spend like one. And that's based on, you know, my theory of having maximum experiences, right? I want to have, you know, I want to have fun. I want to have those experiences. And I've had that, that philosophy about like, you know, life experiences. So I have a burn calculator about how much I should be burning each year based on my earnings, my net worth, and my expected life outcome. So in order to have the maximum amount of experiences, I need to be doing these things now, 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 now. I, I think there's a lot of billionaires that, like they're like they're not they're so underspending. They're so under experiencing. Uh, experiences pay dividends. Like sometimes a, a, a trip or 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 you know a relationship or a job or a career or, or even a difficult time, you get years and years and years of dividends just remembering and reliving that experience. I haven't heard anybody disagree with the philosophy. It was derived from like basically time. Time is money and money, you know, experience and what you're working for. And then to make it the greatest, you, you spend at different times of your life, right? Which then, uh, if, if, and then also the other precept that money that you have when you die is wasted time, right? So the object is to die with zero. Then you can, then from there, it's just math, right? Like once you get those concepts, right? Because one day I'm just gonna be sitting there watching the prices right, eating tapioca pudding, you know, thinking about, you know, the trip I took. This, this summer, you know, hanging out down the Amalfi Coast on the yacht, et cetera, or, you know, hanging out with my kids and, and taking them around and, and watching them experience other cultures, that type of thing. When people are like, what are you doing? You're spending this money. I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm actually saving for retirement. You don't retire on money, you retire on your memories.